In this video, we are going to see how to propagate chrysanthemum from the cuttings and once the cuttings are ready, how to transplant it. Hello friends, welcome to HR Garden. These are the mother plants of last year. They have produced lots of suits. So from this mother plants, I am going to take 5 to 6 inch of cuttings. Cutting should be healthy and should not be infected by any insect or pest. From the lower portion of the cutting, I am going to remove all the leaves, the portion which I am going to bury inside the soil. We can just leave 3 to 4 leaves on the top, the rest we can cut it and remove the leaves from the bottom end of the cuttings when we place the cutting inside the soil together with the leaves there is a high chance of cutting getting infected by the fungus and the cutting may not work now i am going to place one to two inch of the lower end of the cutting inside the soil gently for preparing the potting mixture to grow this cutting, I have taken 80% of garden soil and 20% of vermicompost, mixed them properly and filled in 16 inch of pot. The size of pot depends upon the number of cuttings. We need to make sure there are lots of drainage hole in the pot. We can also use rooting hormone to propagate these cuttings. I am not using any rooting hormone. If the potting mixer is well prepared, we don't need to use any rooting hormone. It grows easily. Now I am going to spray water on this cutting and going to place this cutting in a dry shady area where it receives lots of indirect light. I am giving update of this cutting after 22 days. Now you can see they have produced lots of roots. Now let us check other cuttings too. Now I am going to just take this cutting out of the soil. Now you can see this also has produced lots of roots. In one month chrysanthemum cuttings become ready for the transplantation. If they are grown in proper potting mixture, time to time when the top part of the soil used to get dry, I used to water this cutting. Without using any rooting hormone, 100% of my cutting has propagated successfully. Now today, I am going to transplant this cutting in a new pot and a new potting mixer to prepare a potting mixer to transplant these cuttings i have mixed one part of garden soil one part of vermicompost and one part of sand and in this potting mixer i have mixed fungicide also so they are not infected by any fungus to transplant these cuttings i am using six inch of grow bag with lots of draining hole. Now I have finished transplanting these cuttings. Now I am going to spray water on these cuttings and going to keep this cutting in a dry shady area for one week. After one week I am going to keep this cutting in a place where they receive morning sun and afternoon shade. These are the update of transplantation after 15 days friends hoped you like today's video if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to that bell icon also this is it for today hope to see you guys soon with a new informative video till then keep watching hr garden for the gardening tips